Hi there, and welcome back to the official M5 Stack channel. I'm Luke. Here in this video, we're going to be trying to tweet with our M5 Stack using the excellent ThingSpeak IoT platform. So first up, we're going to need to create an account for ourselves. So go to thingspeak.com, sign up with your email, and create yourself an account. Once you've done that, we need to go into apps and then ThingTweet. ThingTweet needs to link your Twitter account in order to post messages to your Twitter. So first we'll authorize our Twitter account to work with the ThingSpeak platform. Once you've done that, you'll be given an API key. We need to use this API key in our Arduino sketch in order for everything to work. Okay, now let's load up the Arduino IDE and start with including some libraries. First up, we're going to need m5stack.h and also the Wi-Fi.h library in order to connect our device to Wi-Fi. Next, we create a Wi-Fi client object. And then we'll create some variables to hold the necessary information we need to connect to the ThingSpeak platform including the website address and also the API key that we just saw. So let's copy that from our personal ThingTweet page and paste it into the Arduino sketch. Next we make a string to store the TypeScript data and then we go into the void setup loop. Here we want to create some status messages. First we'll initialize the M5 with m5.begin and then the next few lines will initialize the Wi-Fi connection. Make sure you type Wi-Fi with capital W, small i, capital F, small i. I kept messing up here. Then we need a delay for one second and then we'll print start to the screen to show the start of the initialization process. And then Wi-Fi.begin here you'll need to enter your network name or SSID and the password for your network. Next we'll create a while loop to tell the M5 stack what to do while the connection has not been established. So that's Wi-Fi status not equals connected. Make a delay for a fraction of a second. and print a bunch of dots so it looks like it's loading trying to connect. Now outside the while loop we'll create connected because if it breaks out of the while loop then we'll definitely have connected. Okay, And then we'll create another if condition this time it will check if the client has connected to api.thingspeak.com on port 80 and then send the TypeScript data of the API key and also the message that we want to send over to Twitter and then we send a HTTP request with post then we declare the host and then in the next few lines we'll declare what kind of content we are sending to the host And finally, we'll send that TS data, which has our API key and status. And then once that's done, we'll make sure that the uh, M5 uh, stack prints tweet sent on the screen. We'll save this first. And then upload to our device. And it's going to take a little while to compile and upload to the device and there we go it's done uploading we can see the messages appear on the screen of the M5 stack start it's connected we have an IP address there tweet sent now I go to my Twitter and there we go this tweet was sent by my M5 stack hope you enjoyed this video 
If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.